Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is all about how we can optimize your SQL queries to make them lightning fast. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in this video, we are going to learn the art of query optimization as well as the best practices that you can implement to make your sluggish query run way more faster than expected. So the first question you may ask why you really need the query optimization in the first place. So once your data start growing and your complex logic will suffer day by day. So your data platform will not make an efficient use of all the resources that are available, which will affect the application as well as the end user who are consuming that data. So SQL query optimization will really help boost your workloads as well as it will improve the overall architecture of the system as well as the efficiency of the process since it will reduce the consumption of your resources and really improve the final user experience. So for example, if you are building a pipeline which handles all the transactions at the end result is like you need to do a balance sheet reconciliation. And if your queries ran poor and you are not getting the result to the end user at a specific time, your business have to suffer and it could cause many losses. So that is the reason query optimization is very vital part in data engineering field. So let's talk about some of the best practices and the tips to overcome these issues and make your queries run way more faster. So the most vital part of query optimization is you have to understand the execution plan. So many databases out there will have like the explain queries where you can learn how our databases are working together under the hood to get you the required results. So you will get like a complete roadmap of the execution of your particular query so that you will be able to understand how much resources it is consuming, how much time it may require and how you can improve or eliminate some of the redundant steps that are not at all required and reduce the groundwork of your resources. So the next strategy is indexing strategy. So indexing is also one of the most important steps that you need to take for query optimizations. So in indexing, it will be like an index of a book, for example. So this will be like if you create an index on a specific fields, then it will be easier for the table or the database to locate that information. So but you have to make sure that you are making an index on a proper column because that also might impact if you created any incorrect indexes that could really hamper your platform performance. And also there are so many indexes out there. So you have to choose the right index for your column. So there are like B-tree indexes, hash indexes, as well as the bitmap indexes. So you have to analyze first which type of index is appropriate as per the data type of that column and what really is your output and the expectation and the output. So according to that, you can choose the right type of indexes. The next important thing is how you design your query. So the query design also helps us improve the query performance. So for example, if you are using a select statement and if you are getting multiple columns like if your table have 300 to 400 columns and in your select statement, if you are giving select star or like more columns that you don't even require, then that could also hamper your query performance because it will consume a lot of resources. So you should only get the columns in the result table that you want. So you can just put only those three to four columns in your select clause to make your queries way more faster than expected. Also, you have to make sure that your where clauses have all the columns which are already indexed. So let's say if you have like if your table has a load date column and your table is a daily load. So it is like replicating all the data and giving you the timestamp for every load date. So your load date column should be indexed as well as whenever you are retrieving latest information of in your table, make sure to provide a where condition to your load date column so that your database should only have to scan those specific records from the table. The next thing you want to make sure that you are doing a right joining as well as the sub query strategies because introducing the different types of joins as well as the sub queries can introduce a bottlenecks in your query performance. So 
you have to make sure that you are choosing a right type of join so there are like inner join left outer join or the right outer join so you have to make sure you are using the proper type of join as per your data needs and it totally depends on what type of data and what is the volume of data present in the right table and the left table and according to that and your use case you have to choose the right type of join because it will really hamper your performance if you screwed up this step and also if you talk about the sub queries you have to make sure that your sub queries are written in a such a way that it will not have an impact on your database performance so i'll highly recommend you to rewrite your sub queries and convert them into the join queries so that it will be more efficient than just submitting a sub query so the next tip is like you have to avoid cursors in your sql query so cursors can be like the sql query performance killers and especially on the large data set so you have to explore like the set based operations to replace the cursor usage so set based operation will be like insert into select that operations can be way more faster than the cursor so at last sql query optimization is not the one time task you have to evolve your plans as well as you have to constantly monitor and see the execution plans of your query and also maintain the indexes to fulfill like the new requirements so once you have like new requirements and you need to change your sql workloads then also you have to change your performance strategy so there you have it this is all you need to do to improve your sql query performance so you have to make sure that you have the right indexing strategies in place as well as design some efficient queries also like consider to improve like the joining strategy as well as the sub query strategy and also you should avoid the cursors in your query all the way and instead use like the set based statements and also the most important thing is you have to maintain your query over the time because it is not a one time activity I hope you like this video so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates thanks for watching